My name is Sabrina, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I've read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible, yeah! The Bible's important because it helps us know how much God loves us. Well, I was reading in my Bible, and I read about some people who lived a long time ago. Some were helpers, and some of them were not. There was a man named Nabal who was very rich. I read that he had 3,000 sheep. Whoa. And 1,000 goats. That's a lot of animals to take care of. Nabal had everything he needed and lots more. He had plenty he could share and lots that he could use to help others. But I read in my Bible that Nabal wasn't nice. He only cared about himself. I love my stuff. It's all mine. Yum, 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 yum. Hmm. Now, a man named David was traveling through town with his very, very large army of men. They saw all of Nabal's sheep and goats. Keeping up with all of those animals was a hard job for Nabal's shepherds. So David and his army helped keep Nabal's animals safe. David was a good helper, even when it wasn't his job. They kept Nabal's animals safe for many days. Then, one day, David and his men were hungry. So David sent some of his men to ask Nabal if he would share some of his extra food with them. The men told Nabal that David and his army had been keeping Nabal and all of his animals and shepherds safe. Do you think that Nabal helped David by sharing his food? No, I'm not sharing. I'm not helping. This is all mine. Yum, 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 yum. Uh-oh. Nabal was not a good helper at all. When David heard that Nabal could help but didn't want to, well, that made David really mad. Oh, we help Nabal, but he won't help us. Oh, now I'm hungry and mad. Mm. So David decided that he and his army would go and fight Nabal. Oh, wow. This is a big problem. I mean, we have Nabal, who was being mean and wasn't being a helper by sharing his food. And then we have David, who was a good helper to start with, but then he was going to fight, and that wasn't being nice either. This is a big problem. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, it's our helping horn! That means someone needs help, and I bet it's David and Nabal. But who's gonna help them? Well, there is someone I haven't told you about yet. Her name was Abigail, and Abigail was married to Nabal, but she wasn't mean like Nabal. She heard that David's men were coming to fight Nabal and all of Nabal's family because he wouldn't help David's men. But Abigail knew that God wants us to help others. She knew that she had to do something to help David's men and keep her family safe. So Abigail went to where Nabal kept all of their food. And when Nabal wasn't paying attention, she loaded up her donkey with all sorts of food for David and his men. <laughs> Quick, pretend to help me load the donkey. Let's load it up with lots of meat. Quick, pile up the meat. And I bet Abigail loaded it up with some fruit. Quick, load up all the fruit. And I bet she loaded it up with bread and cakes. And she loaded and loaded and loaded her donkey full of food. Wow. Then Abigail had to be brave. She had to take the food to David and his army before they started to fight Nabal and her family. She knew that David was mad. And I bet she was scared, but she knew she had to help. So Abigail took all of the food and met up with David's army on the road. Abigail gave the food to David and told him that she knew that it was not nice for Nabal not to help them. She asked David to forgive her family and to take her gift of all the food. Abigail brought so much more food than David had even asked Nabal for. David took the food and fed his men. And they decided not to fight Nabal's family since Abigail helped them. Abigail helped feed David and his army and Abigail saved her family. 
Abigail was a hero and a really good helper. Abigail knew that God wanted her to help others, just like God wants you to help others and God wants me to help others. That's right. And there are all sorts of ways that we can help others. Like you can share with your friends when you have something that they need. Or when someone has a really big job to do, like cleaning the kitchen, you can offer to help. God wants us to help others. Let's pray and talk to God. Give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and help us to help others. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, I love that God wants us to help each other. I'm gonna look for all sorts of ways to help others all week long, and you can too. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.